Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. After the return of Kirin 9000S, Huawei successfully solved the problem of high-end chip supply and released the Kirin 9010 chip a few months later, but this is still considered by the market to be a flash in the pan. In order to fight back against rumors from the outside world, Yu Chengdong directly responded, Mate 70 is the strongest mate in history. On November 26, Mate 70 officially met with everyone. This time the focus is naturally on the pure-blooded version of Hongmeng and the new Karin chip. Although Yu Chengdong did not mention these two technologies too much at the press conference, the strongest mate has been confirmed. According to Market News, the chip equipped with Mate 70 is Kirin 9020, which is built with a 7 nanometers process, but the transistor density reaches 140 mtRM, which is slightly inferior to the 150 plus mtRM of the first generation 5 nanometers Kirin 9000, but to some extent, Huawei has achieved the ultimate development on limited processes. In the chip manufacturing process, the most complex equipment is the lithography machine, which is composed of more than one million parts. Even ASML has only achieved less than 10% of technological autonomy, and the rest needs to rely on the supply chain of more than 20 countries. This is why ASML cannot get rid of American technology and this has become the biggest problem for China's chip manufacturing. But just this year, China has improved the accuracy of the lithography machine to 65 nanometers, and Shanghai Microelectronics has started to assemble 28 nanometers technology in the supply chain. As long as the final localization is achieved, the dilemma of Chinese chips will be completely solved. And it is not only Huawei that is powerful. Another Chinese company has successfully developed high-end chips and replaced the Japanese giants. Chinese companies replace Japanese companies. According to the news on November 29, the Chinese company Stewie has achieved the autonomy of high-end CMOS image sensor chips. This chip named SC585XS, is built based on the full-process domestic system. The measured performance is better than Sony IMX766, especially in autofocus technology. Stewie SC585XS achieves 100% full-pixel and full-directional autofocus coverage, while Sony's data is only 50%. Previously, Huawei's P50, Mate 50 and other flagship phones were equipped with Sony's IMX766 chip, and Huawei, which is obsessed with localization, will definitely replace Sony's chip in the face of the higher-performance SC585XS chip. And this is great news for domestic mobile phones. Previously, Domestic breakthroughs were mainly concentrated on SOC chips, thus ignoring the development of CMOS chips. Fortunately, some Chinese companies have realized this problem, and only then did they understand why Huawei abandoned Leica and improved its camera capabilities a lot. In the field of smartphones, Sony's CMOS chips have always been the best and the standard for high-end mobile phones. Although many companies also have similar chips, their market share can be directly ignored. Now that Chinese companies have made breakthroughs, Sony's market share will be fully compressed in the future, and the era of monopoly is over. The credit for all this can be given to the United States. Under the full-speed promotion of chip rules, Chinese companies no longer have any illusions about Europe, the United States, Japan and South Korea, and have started the autonomy of technology 
at full speed, thus making up for one piece of technological gap after another. The Smart SC585XS chip has been mass-produced, and the cost-effectiveness of domestic mobile phones will be higher in the future, and they will also have greater competitiveness in the international market. The restriction on Huawei was originally proposed by Trump. After four years of revision and improvement, Biden not only failed to achieve the desired effect, but also made European, American, Japanese and Korean companies lose their competitive advantage. Even if Trump returns in the future, it will be difficult to do anything in the face of such a situation. The return of the Kirin 9000 S chip is equivalent to a milestone for Chinese chips. It is bound to blossom in the future. At present, domestic chips have achieved reverse exports, and the import share of high-end chips has also continued to decline. The restrictions of the United States have completely failed. It is worth noting that Huawei draws inspiration from Apple's iOS, and its pure-blooded Hongmeng system is benchmarked against iOS in user experience. Although the Kirin 9020 is slightly inferior to the Snapdragon 8 Elite in running scores, in actual experience, the running scores of the Android system are often difficult to truly reflect the performance. Android running scores generally have certain optimization deviations, and Huawei has achieved excellent performance in user experience through deep tuning of the system and hardware. The Mate 70 series is particularly outstanding in fluency, temperature control, and energy consumption in large-scale games. Although the Android system still lags behind Apple in core scheduling and battery life optimization, Huawei has greatly narrowed this gap. This phone shows significant progress from Kirin 9000s to Kirin 9020. Especially in the improvement of high-performance core frequency, although it is limited by the lithography process, Huawei has made up for some of the shortcomings through design optimization. At present, its 7 nanometers process is close to TSMC's 5 nanometers level. If the manufacturing process is further improved in the future, it may be able to compete with top chips such as A16. From system to chip, Huawei has demonstrated its deep strength and unremitting efforts in technology research and development. Despite various limitations, its continuous technological progress has brought higher expectations to the market. In the future, with the improvement of manufacturing technology, and the deepening of system optimization, Huawei's performance in the field of high-end chips will be even more impressive. What do you think about this?